Hi everyone, it's me, Zoe. So I'm gonna do some fun facts on pain for you. Um, so if you are suffering with chronic pain, um, if you have it over a long period of time, sometimes uh, the stress of that can cause your brain to shrink. But if you are on the right treatment, it can be relieved and prevent that from happening. Um, some, some people actually don't feel pain at all. While that might sound like heaven, it's not. It's not at all because they don't know, say in the winter, they don't know if their toes are freezing or if they've broken an arm or cut themselves severely. They have to keep checking their body. So it's a really severe uh, condition to have. Diets can affect pain. Um, sometimes if you're um, a celiac, then if you're having dairy foods, it can cause inflammation and that will affect your pain. Redheads <clears throat> apparently have a better threshold to pain and that's because the gene that um, sends the signals to create the red hair also uh, is the same gene to um, send the signals for your pain. Um, pain tolerance is actually different for different people. So some people can deal with a lot more pain than other people. And uh, nothing wrong with that, just, it's just the way we're built. Um, it doesn't mean that, you know, that, you know, if you can't handle a lot of pain, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything if you can handle more pain. Um, and your brain doesn't actually feel pain. Um, when you have a migraine, Lots of people think that it's your brain that's um, feeling the pain, but it doesn't. Your brain is only a processor. Anyway, um, so that's just some fun facts. But I'd just like to say, if you are in pain and it is affecting your um, daily quality of life and it's affecting what you're doing every day, like going to work or college, then you really do need to seek medical advice. Okay, thank you. Bye.